Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I took a thrifted cabinet and turned it into a bar. This project has been years in the making. Not actually because it took that long to make, but I started it and I got to a certain point and it just sat unfinished until now. In a lot of the footage in the beginning, I'm actually pregnant. Yep, that's right. That's how long this has taken me to do. I was pregnant with Penny at the time. So anyway, let's finally get started. So I had this idea to take a cabinet and change it into a bar and put a mini fridge in it so that we could put all of our drinks and stuff in it. And it took a couple months of searching, but finally I went to my local restore and I found this cabinet that worked perfectly to fit the mini fridge that I had. And actually it's funny because I got the mini fridge there too, but like way way before I found this cabinet. So first things first, I removed the doors. And then I removed the hinges and set those aside. I donned the proper safety gear and used this citrus stripper to strip the white paint off the doors. This stuff has to sit for a while. So while that was happening, I decided to address the bottom of the cabinets. Since this cabinet was meant to be on the floor, it had a toe kick. So the actual like cabinet is raised a couple inches off the ground. My plan was to get rid of the toe kick and the extra wood around the bottom and then to put legs on it instead. So the toe kick part was easy. I just pried it off with a screwdriver and it came off super easy. And for the sides and the back, since those are just that one piece of wood, I used a circular saw to cut them off to match up with the small lip that was there already. And this actually wasn't too bad. I was dreading this part the most, but I just used the scrap toe kick as a guide and I clamped it on and then used that to run the saw along. After that was done, I added the four legs onto the bottom. At this point, the stripper had been sitting on the doors long enough so I could begin scraping it off. And man, this is really satisfying, but it's also kind of a pain. I couldn't even get all the paint off in all of the little cracks and crevices. I told myself I'd come back to that and clean it up more, but let's be real, I totally left it like that. So back to like the body of the cabinet, this piece of wood in the middle that is kind of like the middle of the doors needed to be scooted over just a little bit to make room for the mini fridge. So I unscrewed it. I moved it over and screwed it back into place using a square to make sure that it was well, square. And this actually was pretty easy. It was just screwed in with a couple pocket holes and it wasn't glued in. So yeah, it was super easy to just move it over.
we test fit the fridge and perfect. Now that I know that this wood thing was in the right spot, I measured how big each side was now so I could cut and readjust the doors accordingly. Oh, and I guess I lied earlier um, because here I am cleaning up the paint from the doors just a little bit more. I used mineral spirits and like a bristle brush thing to try to get as much of the paint out as I could. And actually, that worked pretty well. I mean, it's not the best, it still could have been better, but yeah. Now this is how I leave it. Now the fun part, changing up the doors. Basically, I needed to widen the right door and thin down the left door. Essentially, I just cut a section from the middle of the left door that I was making skinny, and then I cut down the middle of the right door, and then I reattached that section from the left door into the right door. Afterwards, I realized I only really needed the measurements from like the short door uh, to see how much I needed to cut out of it because that section would be the exact amount that I would need to add to the other door to make it wide enough to fill the gap. I didn't really think about that, so I like meticulously measured each side, but yeah. Anyway, once I had my marks, my husband cut them for me on our table saw. I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to like doing projects on my own. I like to be the one to like get my hands in there and do it. But I'm already sort of wary about table saws. They kind of like freak me out a little bit. But that is absolutely the one tool that I was not going to use while I was pregnant. All I could picture was that wood kicking back and hitting me straight in the stomach and that was no a hard no so yeah thankfully my husband stepped in to help now if any of you guys actually know your way around cabinetry you know that a cabinet door is basically like a frame with a piece of wood well in this case wood in the middle what should have happened when we cut these doors apart was that the middle should have fallen out since it wasn't held in place anymore However, in my case, and my not so great paint cleaning skills, the paint was holding everything together while I did this. I've seen people readjust cabinet doors and typically what they do is they try to cut pretty close to the seam of the top and the bottom where the sides come together and then they take out the middle insert and then they adjust everything and then stick it back together I guess if that makes any sense so that you don't have like this big seam running up and down the door but honestly that seemed quite a bit harder for me to do it may bother some of you how I decided to tackle these doors but it's just how I worked it out myself and in the end it worked out all right and while the table saw was out I had my husband cut some wood for the top of the bar cabinet too Anyway, once these pieces were cut, I drilled some pocket holes, making sure to put some in the edge wood pieces and also in the middle piece. I worked on the skinny door first. I applied glue to the cut ends. I clamped it and I screwed the pieces together. And my skinny door was done. You can still sort of see the seam on this guy. I should have used wood filler and sanded it to hide it. You'll see it doesn't really, but whatever. If it bothers me a lot, I can always go back and fix it. So onto the wider door, I applied glue and clamped it up. And I screwed the middle insert piece on. I wiped up the excess glue and then I repeated this again for the other side of the door. And voila, a wider door. I glued up and screwed together the bar top to make it big enough to fit the top of the cabinet. 
And then I took the bar top outside and sanded it for forever. I freaking hate sanding with a passion, but I really wanted this bar top to look and feel nice. So I went through and made sure to sand it properly where you start really rough and you keep getting finer and finer until I deemed that it was done. And then I stained it. I did a couple coats of the stain. And then I sealed it with a couple coats of this satin finish polyurethane sealer. I ended up adding these gold cabinet knobs and then this is how it sat until now. I got it to this point and then was like, you know, it works, it serves its purpose, and I can just get to painting it whenever I feel like it. Yup, all that was left to do was to paint it and then it would have been done, but I ended up putting that off for like over a year. Anyway, one day I randomly decided I wanted to finish it, it needed to be done, so I went out and I finally decided on a shade of paint with the help of Penny picking for me because I'm too indecisive and then I painted it. And, well, there it is. Finally done. And I love it. I'm so mad at myself that it took me so long to paint it. So, there we go. There's my cabinet turned into a bar. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so excited that it's finally done. This is a project that I have been wanting to post for a long time, but I didn't want to post it until it was like totally done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.